Oh, Mr. Murray. Yes. Mr. Murray. Um... Darla, I've never seen you look more beautiful. This is Darla Hood, our leading lady, ladies and gentlemen. I never, uh, I never uh, seen you look more beautiful than you do tonight. You look positively radiant. Maybe that's what happens to a girl when, when she's in love. <laughs> in love? Who are you in love with? Mel Torme. Mel Torme? Is that right? You know, he's on our show tonight, you know. I know. I saw him. Well, what makes you think that you're in love with him? Gee, haven't you ever met anybody who just makes shivers and tingles go all up and down you every time you see him? Yeah, my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Murray, you're always kidding. No, 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 I'm You know, I'm not. some things are, are sacred. No, no, doll. I know what love is. Love is like being suspended halfway between heaven and earth and having the angels pour hot molasses down your spinal column. <laughs> not love. I, I'll swear on a stack of wheat cakes it is. <laughs> oh, you're just as silly as my cousin Joe Besser. Joe Besser? Yeah. Say, by the way, whatever happened to that uh, Joe Besser, cousin of yours? Well, you know, I think he's in love, too. Yeah? He's writing poetry. Joe Besser's writing poetry? Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to hear about that. I think you will, because here he comes now. <laughs> The cop outside, he, he wouldn't let me through. He wouldn't? Oh, he's such an Oliver Twist. He's yeah. such a, he's such an Oliver something and a, yeah. and, 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 and a, and a Taylor Two Cities and a, and a David Copperfield. Well, what is that, Oliver Twist, Taylor Two Cities? And, and well, what is that? What are you doing? I'm giving him the dickens. Yeah, oh, well, then. <laughs> Such a Klein mine. All right, all right. Now, listen to me. Listen. Now, tell me something. Is it true that you're a poet? That's what I well, want to... Well, of course. A, a disciple of the immortal bard. Is that right? Why, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, certainly I am. Well, if you're a poem, if you're a poet, what have you ever written? Well, I once wrote a poem on Grant's tomb. Yeah? You wrote a poem on Grant's tomb? What happened? Somebody erased it. No, 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 no. Well, they did it with the cutest nothing. Listen, now, <laughs> listen, I don't believe that you ever wrote a poem in your entire life. Oh, see, that's why you're so smart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm gonna say I got one right here that I just wrote. A poem? Yes. Yeah. There's nothing on this page. There's nothing on it. What do you mean? What kind of poetry is this? It's blank verse. <laughs> Oh, sometimes ten... Oh. It's a hell blank. Yeah, now, just a minute. In order to be a poet, you should know literature. Have you ever read the classics? Why, certainly. You yeah, have, Do you know Masters in the Cold, Cold Ground? Gee, I didn't even know he was sick. No, no. <laughs> Tell me these things. All right, no, all right. No, well, I might have could have helped them. All right, don't listen to me. I could have given them a shot of penicillin. All right, all right. Now, listen to me. I'm talking about famous poems, Bessa. Did you ever hear the Ancient Mariner? The what? Ancient Mariner. No, all my friends are in the army. No, no, no. But I can see that you don't know the first thing about poetry. Oh, I do, too. I do, too. I do, too. You do not, you do not, you do not. I said that first. She said something else. Yeah. Right. Such a copycat. Yeah, all right. Now, look, look. All right. If you're such a great poet, tell me this. When you versify, do you go to your typewriter? Uh, and when you... <laughs> It'll come out. Yeah. When you versify, do you go to your typewriter and expostulate? Oh, what you said. <laughs> oh, shut up. Who would like he said it to you? <laughs> No, he said a word. Yeah, listen, now, you're no poet. I bet you never even read a poem. Oh, yes, I did. I read I read poetry from, from coast to coast. Yeah, where'd you read them? On the Burma Shave sign. No, no, look, look, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you know any poems by famous authors? Oh, yes, I still happen to know one now. You do, huh? Would you like to hear it? Yes, I would. The over land and sea I roam, I always manage to fly back home. The, the over land and sea I roam, I always manage to fly back home. Who wrote that? Merrill Dwyer. Yeah. <laughs> 